guys, it's Andrew from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today, at your request, I'm finally sharing all of my favorite Christmas movies, and these are feel-good movies, these are um, clean movies as well. I am going to um, share which movies I would watch with maybe older kids versus younger kids, but um, these are my favorites. So the first group of movies that I want to share with you, and by the way, if I don't share something, this is just the collection of movies that I own. There are some that I would like to add to my collection and I will try to think of those as we go through them. But um, if you guys think of any, please let me know. I'd love to hear your movie suggestions as well. Okay, so the first movie that I want to share with you is A Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> You've got to get this one. It's a classic. This is my dad's favorite and I had to buy it. And I think I enjoy it probably more than my kids do just because I grew up watching it and the um, the music is just so classic and I, I love this one. So that's the first one on my list. And then you have to get these. I hope everyone watching this already has these. It's the grouping of um, the original Christmas classics. So I have, they have them on the back here. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, of course. Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and The Little Drummer Boy we don't watch as often. Um, we, I don't know, that one's a little bit different, <laughs> but we do love those first three. Rudolph, Frosty, and Santa Claus. Okay, next on my list for children's Christmas movies, we personally really enjoy Polar Express. The soundtrack is magical. It's just a beautiful story, and um, I don't know. I've just, uh, this one came out when I was in high school, actually, and we've just always loved this one. My kids love it. The train ride is super exciting and thrilling. It feels like they're on a roller coaster, and of course, all the Christmas magic that goes along with it. That's a really cute one. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is another great one for little kids, and you know, um, there are a couple other versions of The Grinch that we've watched. I would say the cartoon is still my favorite because it's just what I grew up with, but this is the only one we own and um, and we really enjoy this story. I want to get the book so I can read the book to my kids as well, but <laughs> we love watching The Grinch every single Christmas. All right, so these next four movies that I have, I would suggest watching them with older kids. Um, just because we watched, so for example, um, Home Alone. Love Home Alone, one of my favorite movies as a kid. We watched it last year with our boys. My husband and I went and got it and watched it. And I didn't realize that there were swear words in the movie. <laughs> I had just, I completely forgotten. That's something that maybe, I, I think there's only one or two and I don't even think it phased my son when he heard them, he didn't even realize. Um, but my husband and I were like, oh, oh my goodness, did they just swear? <laughs> so, um, just keep that in mind. It's such a cute movie. And then, um, of course, Home Alone 2 is a great one as well. The next movie I want to share is The Santa Claus, another one I would watch with your older kids. I love this movie. I think that Tim Allen does such a good job. I have Santa Claus 2 as well. Uh, I don't like Santa Claus 2 as much as the first Santa Claus. The first Santa Claus is a classic, but this one is good too. And then another one that we love and we watch every single year. I would watch it with your older kids just because I don't know if younger kids will really understand the humor in it, but A Christmas Story. You've got to watch A Christmas Story if you don't have this movie or if you haven't seen it. It is so cute. I love it so much. So many hilarious moments that my family, we love to quote all during the Christmas season. This next one is a movie that I would not watch with your children. Um, it's A Christmas Carol with Patrick Stewart. It is my favorite Scrooge movie. It's the best Scrooge movie if you haven't seen it. Um, and I know there are a lot of Scrooge movies out there, but this one is so well done. Just the acting and all the beautiful scenery and oh, it's a really, really good one. The reason why I'm not sure I would watch it with your kids is because at the end, what is it, the ghost of Christmas, 
Uh, there's past, present, and future, like the scary one. There's a scene that's just a little bit creepy for kids, I think, so I would probably avoid watching it with your kids. But overall, this is such a good one, you guys. You've got to get the Patrick Stewart Christmas Carol. I wouldn't necessarily consider this next one a Christmas movie, but I love to watch it every Christmas because it sort of starts off in the Christmas season and there are Christmas, beautiful Christmas scenes all throughout the movie. And that is the Winona Ryder Little Women movie. If you have not seen Little Women, um, I believe it came out in 1994, I wanna say. 94 or 95, I think I was in first grade <laughs> when I watched it. I fell in love with it as a little girl and I've loved it ever since. It's just one that I, I love watching it at Christmas time. There are so many precious scenes in this movie. The music is beautiful. The Christmas decorations in the movie when they decorate their, their home for Christmas, it's so magical. So this is a favorite at Christmas time. It really is, I love watching it. I do have a couple of Hallmark movies in my collection that I've actually purchased over the years because I liked them so much. One of them is Love at the Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's a cute one. Um, it's a Hallmark movie, so it's one of those movies that you kind of, you can kind of guess what the ending is going to be right away. Um, but I don't know, the acting was really cute in this one. I liked both of the actors, and um, it's a little bit different. She, uh, the girl in the movie, loves wearing vintage clothing, and she's very much, um, she loves uh, history, and so I think that's why I liked it so much. This next one, Trading Christmas, is another Hallmark movie. I, I just thought it was really cute. A lot of times I know it's super silly, but if I like the setting of the movie, where it takes place, the home especially that the movie takes place in, um, and this <laughs> chick's home in the movie is so beautiful and it's decorated so, I can remember the kitchen. Oh, it's so pretty. I would recommend this one, super cute. And I know there's a lot of good Hallmark ones that have come out over the years. That doesn't happen often where I think that was so good that I want to buy it. <laughs> but these are the two that I own, so I'm sharing them with you. All right, guys, I have saved the best for last. And I'm gonna start off with a white Christmas. You gotta watch A White Christmas. <laughs> That's a really cute one. I love this one. It was made in 1954. I love this movie. There are so many beautiful songs in the movie. The whole premise is really cute. If you haven't seen A White Christmas, you've gotta go watch it now. It's a really good one. Now, these are older movies, so if you're not into old movies, this one has a lot of singing in it. So if you're not a huge fan of movies with a lot of singing, probably you won't like this one. <laughs> but I think it's super cute and I watch it every single year. And the final scene in the movie is just magical. So I really love White Christmas. The next movie that I wanna share with you is Miracle on 34th Street. This one was made um, in 1947, it says. And this is such a feel-good movie. I love this one. I think, um, yep, this is this is in full color. So if you really, if black and white movies you're not a huge fan of, you can get this one in full color now. And I love Miracle on 34th Street. It is one of my favorites. I just love old movies in general. I love seeing what they wore and how they spoke and, Oh, they're just so good, aren't they? <laughs> so, actually, one thing about Miracle on 34th Street. There was a newer version that came out in the 90s, and I can't even think of the actress now, but that one is actually really good, too. I mean, it was a good remake. Really good actors. Um, they just did a good job with it. I love everyone they chose for that movie. And I don't have that copy, I have to buy it. My mom has it, and so I borrow it from her every year. But yeah, the remake um, is, in my opinion, is really, really good. So anyways, Miracle on 34th Street, that's a favorite of mine. Both versions are really good. Okay, I have two left, and they're both so good that I don't know which one to share first. Um, I guess I will share, this one is probably the one most of you 
have not heard of. It's not as common when I share it with people. Um, they're like, what? No, I've never seen that. But this is called Christmas in Connecticut. It was made in 1945. I think this one is in black and white, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if it's available in color, but guys, this is one of my absolute favorites. I just love, I love the whole premise of the movie. It's different. The lady in the movie basically is pretending she's like a Martha Stewart of her day. She writes these pretend articles for the newspaper and it's all fake. And so she pretends she lives on this farm and all, and she's married and has a baby, but um, she's in big trouble when her editor, I think the editor or um, the, the owner of the paper wants to visit her farm for Christmas and anyways it's super cute she has to host an American soldier and she's married but not really and she ends up falling for the soldier <laughs> it's just it's a really funny really cute movie I love all the scenes in the movie I love the acting it's a great one so if you haven't seen this one go grab it and then finally the last one that I have in my collection is how could I not include this movie? It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, the best. <laughs> Our whole family loves this movie so much. Guys, if you have not seen this movie, um, you know, some people say, oh, I don't like that movie because it's really sad during the middle. Like, it's really depressing and stuff. But the whole point of the movie is this guy sees what his life would be like if he weren't around. He's gonna he's gonna take his own life in the movie because he just feels like he's messed everything up. This angel comes along, you know, and says, okay, you wanna see what life would be like without you. Here's what it would look like. And he realizes all that he has in his life, his friends and everything he has to be thankful for. And there's just this beautiful moment at the end of the movie when he finally gets his life back and he walks into his giraffe old house and all of his kids screaming and he sees his wife and just gives her a big hug and he just realizes how wonderful his life is. And it's just a beautiful movie, a wonderful storyline. So if you haven't seen It's a Wonderful Life with James Stewart, I highly recommend it. I'm teary eyed just talking about it. We watch it every year on Christmas Eve and drink eggnog. And uh, it's just, it's a great one. Um, I'm trying to think of other family friendly movies. There are a lot of new ones that have come out in the last few years I feel like that I don't personally own. There is another older movie that I love. It's A Bishop's Wife I don't know if you've seen that one. Oh, that's a really good one. Again, another old movie made in the 40s and I really love that one too. If there's one that I didn't mention here please can you put it in a comment below i would love to read through your comments and discover more amazing christmas movies and i'm sure once i start reading your comments i'll think oh of course how can i forget about that one? Oh yes that one's great too so um yeah <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna do i am going to write a blog post in connection with this video like i always do and i will include the list of movies that i love in the blog post with a pinnable graphic so you can pin it to your Pinterest board and save it forever. And when I write that blog post, I'm going to do a little bit more research and see if there's any other ones that I thought of that I can add to that list. And that way you can refer to it every year. But I hope this list um, was a help to you guys. Um, I know there are other great movies, but I wanted this to be a list of um, clean, <laughs> family movies for the most part. I know there are some hilarious Christmas movies that have come out over the years um, that, you know, I could have included in this list, but I wanted to keep it family friendly. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.